Hey everybody, I am getting ready to go on a just real quick two-nighter uh, bear hunt. We're gonna uh, camp out of the trailhead Friday night, backpack in Saturday, hunt on the way in, and then come back out late Sunday night. But I wanted to show you what I'm taking for that kind of trip. So, taking my FHF bino harness, Gonna be using a stone glacier, um, 5900. Definitely some pro bar meals and whatnot. This is a new headlamp that I got. It's a Phoenix. It's pretty sweet. It is um, rechargeable, and then it's got a bunch of settings. You can lock so that it doesn't come on accidentally. Um, really been loving that headlamp. And then here's some of the other gear that I'm gonna use. This is my some stuff that's gonna be in my possibles pouch. I've got some bug spray, or sorry, not bug spray, bug lotion from Sawyer um, in case the bugs are bad back there. Matches, mosquito net, backup compass. Um, this is some patch kits from, who's this from? gear aid, extra wind detector, some triaxane tablets in case you need to start a fire, extra tab for my bow if, if, in case I want to take the bow, hot hands just because, never know. Uh, yeah, just some things there. Um, I'm using a MSR, um, I think it's called a pocket, no it's not pocket shot, hot shot, pocket shot, something. It's this ultralight, very small, compact, easy to use water filter system. Um, it's just two days, so I don't need to bring something super robust. Um, this is all my food for the two days. I'm going uh, with a cold, uh, cold food, not gonna cook any food, just gonna eat. Um, everything's pre-made, like I said, a lot of pro bar stuff. Um, one of my favoritest pieces of gear, this is Garmin InReach, in case we need to call for help. Uh, my kill kit, which has my game bags, knives, uh, flagging tape, electrical tape. Um, I'm gonna be using a uh, hammock gear quilt. Um, it's supposed to be fairly warm in the 40s at night. So um, it's a 20 degree quilt that has some closure so you can wrap yourself up in it really nicely. Um, because I am testing out ultralight type gear for some ex more extended type trips, I have this Inertia X-Lite from Climate that I'm gonna use. Um, it's basically a half torso pad, so down to my butt will be padded, and then my legs won't be padded. Um, it's super light, um, just a couple of ounces at most. Uh, Tyvek ground sheet, Pillow from Climic, Climax, Climate, Climate. And then um, Sika gear for my clothes. Um, this is the clothing I'll be wearing in. Um, mountain pants, Jetstream. I think that's it. Uh, Core Light hoodie. And then I'm gonna uh, wear one of their, shoot, I totally just blanked on what it's called. Sorry guys, I forget what this one's called. It's one of the puffies. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is. Uh, oh well. Anyway, that is the gear setup that I'm gonna be using over the next couple days. Should be good, should be fun. Hopefully we bring back a bear, can make, uh, render some bear fat, make bear sausage, all the good stuff for some reason camera does not want to focus on my face. So I think that's going to be the end of the video. There we go. Hi, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we have some good video to show you guys from the trip, some good photos. Will not stay focused on me for some reason. Anyway, all right. Well, that was that was a, uh, a failed attempt in vlogging from me. Anyway, uh, we'll do a, a full recap on Instagram, so go check this out on Instagram if you're watching this on YouTube if you're watching this on Instagram stories then um, 
you can look forward to or sorry not stories instagram um what is that called IGTV. igtv if you're watching this on igtv go over to my profile and you can see all the things and as you guys are well aware of now i am not uh, real good with terms so you're just gonna have to interpret it or dm me if you have no idea what i'm talking about all right see ya